nanotechnology's impact on the environment. Nanotechnology is a field that has a lot of promise when it comes to saving the environment. It could change how we try to solve global problems by cutting down on the amount of damage we do. However, the use of nanomaterials can also harm the environment. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. What is the impact of nanotechnology on the environment? There has been a rise in the use of nanoparticles over the last few decades. In the last few years, scientists have used nanotechnology to solve a lot of problems in the environment. Nanomaterials have been very useful in a lot of different fields. This is mostly because nanoparticles can be changed to meet certain needs. Nanomaterials can improve the efficiency of the most common sources of energy in the world. Nanotech products are expected to change the way people interact with their environment in a big way when they start being used. Nanotechnology doesn't play a big part in saving the environment right now. Nanomaterials still need to be studied a lot more to find out how they affect the world around them. Why is nanotechnology bad for the environment? Nanotechnology has a lot of advantages. However, research shows that the use of nanoscale materials can have different effects on the world around us. It can change ecosystems, and it may also have bad effects on organisms. Increased environmental toxicity. Nanoparticles have a lot of surface area for their size. This makes them more reactive than materials that are made up of bigger particles. Toxicology studies show that most nanoparticles are easy for plants and animals to take up in the environment. This can cause a whole new set of problems for the organisms that are affected. Nanomaterials can also make soil more toxic if they aren't used the right way. Nano-based fertilizers can also change soil ecosystems. As a result, the distribution of soil microbes will be a lot more different. The way nanoparticles are used can have an effect on the environment. This is true for both organic and inorganic nanoparticles. Bioaccumulation Here are some things you need to know about bioaccumulation. It is very easy for nanomaterials to pass through cell membranes, which makes the rate of absorption very high in organisms. Some fish can take in nanoparticles, which build up in their bodies over time. Nanomaterials can cause animals to have breathing problems and other health problems because they are so small. It's possible for people to get nanoparticles when they eat plants and animals that have a lot of nanoparticles in their bodies. Nanomaterials can enter the body through the lungs, digestive system, and skin. Nanoparticles can build up in the blood, kidneys, and other important parts of the body. How does nanotechnology help the environment? Nanotechnology can help keep the environment safe. In the right way, nanomaterials can help solve a wide range of environmental problems. 1. Remediation of pollution It is a problem all over the world. It's a big problem for the planet to have a lot of pollution in the air. Most of the time, air pollution comes from things people do like burning fossil fuels. When fossil fuels are burned, they produce greenhouse gases that harm the Earth. It has been possible to come up with clean sources of energy thanks to nanotechnology. There is no harm done to the environment by this, so it is a good thing. Vehicles release a lot of carbon dioxide into the air, which makes the air dirty. This is why most cars have nanocatalysts that turn harmful vapors into harmless gases. 2. Improved water quality Nanoparticles can be used to help clean up water. Certain nanoscale materials can make water pollutants harmless. A lot of water treatment is done with nanoparticles, like silver nanoparticles and carbon nanotubes. In addition, most of these compounds are also antibacterial. Nanofiltration is a process that can be used to clean water that has been contaminated. This method is a lot more effective than other ways to clean water. Engineers who work in nanotechnology have also made nanofabrics that can clean up oil spills. When there are a lot of oil spills in the ocean, this method can be very useful. 3. Detection of environmental pollutants Nanotechnology can also be used to help find both biological and chemical pollutants in the environment. Nanotechnology has made it possible for scientists to make advanced nanosensors that can detect pollutants at the atomic level. It is possible for these sensors to pick up very small amounts of contaminants in a given environment. This allows scientists to use the best mitigation strategy when they try to solve environmental problems. Nanosensors can tell if pesticides, heavy metals, radioactive elements, and other harmful compounds are in the air. 
What is environmental nanotechnology? Environmental nanotechnology is the use of nanotechnology principles to help keep the environment safe and clean. Nanotechnology has made a big difference in the environment because it has been used in environmental studies. Nanotechnology engineers have made products that are good for the environment by manipulating nanoscale particles at a molecular level. Nanotechnology uses the properties of nanomaterials to make nano-based devices that can save energy. Environmental nanotechnology has a lot of different jobs that students can do. Nanotechnology has an effect on the economy. Countries that use nanotechnology have seen a lot of economic growth. Increased agricultural produce. Nano-based fertilizers and pesticides have made a big difference in the way farming is done. As a result, crop yields have gone way up. As a result, most countries can now export more crops, which will help their economies. These agricultural chemicals are made with nanotechnology, which helps to reduce waste and protect the environment from possible contamination. Low-cost energy production. Nanotechnology can help make energy cheaper. In addition, nanotech techniques have also been used to come up with new ways to get energy. The availability of cheap energy lowers the cost of making things and also boosts the economy. Improved manufacturing techniques. Many businesses around the world use nanotechnology to make things. Nanoparticles are used to make things like cosmetics and medicines. Products made with nanotechnology can be used to solve specific problems in the body. Because nanoparticles are small, they help the body get the medicine it needs. Nanotechnology and the environment. Nanotechnology can be used to protect the environment. However, it can also harm some parts of the environment. Some nanoparticles can harm the environment and the people who live in it. Nanotechnology has a lot of good things going for it. It can be used to clean up pollution and other things that harm the planet. Thanks for joining us. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning and visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for other teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.